My funky cold Moderna t-shirt is here, Stephanie Miller show. How cool is this? Look, I got the unstructured. It is. I, got, I, I departed from the baseball shirt into the unstructured shirt. How cute is this? Ooh. Right? With the black funky sleeves. Cold Moderna. What? What? All right, I'll go tell our hey letters for doing vaccine rap wars in a moment. However, let me just enjoy <sighs> my funky cold Moderna t-shirt for a minute because Dr. Redliner, who's also team Moderna, joins us yep. in just a little bit. Did anyone else start their day cleaning up diarrhea from a giant dog? Anyone else? Just me? Oh. Oh. On a cream-colored carpet? Anybody? Just me? Mm. Okay. It was like a flashback, Travis, to our days in the Trump administration, where every morning yeah. there was a giant poo cleanup. <laughs> Clean up just, on aisle 45. And just in uh -huh. time, my smell is back from having had COVID. I was like, oh, oh nice. wow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't step in it in the dark, did you? Anyone wants to know how many bags, plastic bags that is? It's a, it's a lot. It's maybe, you know. Oh. I'm glad I eat a lot of produce because I had about, I was, I'm going to say about eight, nine bags. Of... <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, boy, that Dinovite's giving them healthy poops, and that is exciting. Oh, good. I just, good. I think it might be avocado season, so there was something oh. uh, unauthorized that might have been, uh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. It's but, breakfast. But can I just? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Stephanie Miller Show. <laughs> okay. Um. Can I just say though, I it, I cannot be. You cannot keep me down this morning. I'm too happy clappy. Um. I just Eric wins Twitter for now. Eric tweeted, "If you're using a cash app to pay for sex, don't label it ass." Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Really? Really? They labeled it ass. Ass. That's so dumb. Cool. dumb. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Just a little, they live, everything what? we joke about on the Stephanie Miller show comes true. They used a little hotel emoticon, a little like, girl and a... I love hotel. Right? And just ass. They didn't even use a peach? No. 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 Just, they, they just typed the ass. word ass. This the was ass. for... That's Ass. ass. That's what that was for. That was for ass. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Can I just say it's kind of a big deal to get a subpoena to uh, to get a sitting congressman's cell phone? Right. Particularly yeah. when Bill Barr's in charge, who is mm -hmm. Trump's personal defense lawyer who helped every friend of Trump's and right punished every enemy. Mm -hmm. The fact that under yeah. Bill Barr, they got... A subpoena to so get to maybe... get a sitting congressman's phone who is a huge Trump toady. I'm mm. just saying there's probably a lot more there there than we've even yeah. seen yet, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So maybe Bill Barr did have a good streak to him? No, no, it's just this is that bad. <laughs> even he couldn't get out from <laughs> yeah. under the stink. <laughs> this was Bill Barr the morning Bill Barr heard about this was his was his poo. Jamie Poo morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was he was like, Bill What Barr. is that? What? Oh my god. He, he crapped on the par uh, on the uh, carpet. Can, imagine that. Here's this call. I'm just going to do my bill bar. Oh, excuse me. With his big 16,000 ugly Tom one Bosley. More, 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 more. Did he? Is this Venmo payment say ass? Excuse me. Is this Venmo payment say ass? Is that what it says? Okay, sorry. Subpoena that mother phone. I can't. Thank you. And then he slammed down his 19, 1940s <laughs> attorney right. general phone. No. He said, I can't. I can't. Bill okay, this is the one thing I can't help with. Did Bill Barr crap on the carpet? I don't know. Who? We'll find out. It's okay. okay. <laughs> but can I just say? Oh, guess the quote, Chris. Hang on. Look alive. Look alive uh, this morning. Oh, 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 okay. oh dear. All right. Who oh, dear. said not yeah. any other human has ever been more deserving of what's coming for them than is Matt Gates? Who said that? Uh, Pixie and Dixie. No, uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, which makes it even more fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just picture her just. <sighs> Woo, swinging the gavel around, just woo oh, Okay. Boy. All right. Um, and then uh, finally, Chris tweets, uh, talk is cheap. The former guy said he would end the war in Af Afghanistan. President uh, Biden is ending the war in Afghanistan. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Do you feel, do you think it's, I don't know, I, I mean, he's not sensitive or anything, but do you feel like the former guy is a little sensitive about Biden getting everything done that he said he was would do and yeah. then he didn't do it because he's full of, right? Even more yeah. so than Jamie this morning, just really? Do you think? I mean, just, I mean, Biden's just, whoop, checklist, checklist, mm-hmm. vaccines in arms, checks in people's bank accounts, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just saying, out of Afghanistan infrastructure mm-hmm. actually building mm-hmm. stuff okay mm-hmm. i'm just saying i just say i don't know if this bothers him and i don't mean to keep bringing up if it does i certainly don't mean to well, it's world art day stuff so he might put out a statement statement from world the- <laughs> sean every time we do a statement can i have the cheap butter commercial <laughs> <laughs> statement from the office of the president it comes out with a scroll it's, i would like to proclaim oh shut up shut up shut the f- up shut the f- up donnie all the way up to up shut mountain right. where there are no more yes box ups Oop, did i sorry yes I think you I, did i did listen yeah, I you had did a, the wrong i'm having a bad I, i'm having a bad life yes life? i'm having a bad okay. life yeah. just, having a bad week day yeah. life oh, everything boy. sorry jane fonda bleat oh, sorry we, sean we, it's fine shut the f- that's what i meant shut to say. all the way the f- up until you reach the top of shut Ooh. mountain where there are no more cups f- to shut okay my yeah. apologies the stephanie miller show would like to apologize for stephanie miller <laughs> yes yeah, for is, for her life who is having a bad life life <laughs> <laughs> What happened? What happened? Everything Why are you happened a bad this life week. Today? Everything happened this week. I ate everyone. Oh, you know what? It, you know when you're the full glass of water and you're like, oh, hello, last drop. This could have been yeah. the last drop. Patricia, subject line, vaccine wars. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dear Stephanie, well, it had a salutation, uh, which it generally well, doesn't. Okay, well, well. Choosing a vaccine is a personal choice. And when you started doing your comedy routine about the vaccine wars, I immediately felt attacked. I would never attack your choice over who you love. No longer a listener. Well, she was up till yesterday to write this, but then Patricia has oh, left us. Okay. Well, I don't. Did... Okay, Patricia. Point A. I did not have a choice. None of us did. Nobody. Nobody. Moderna does. was <laughs> Moderna was what Kaiser had that day, and he, the next day, my next door neighbor got Pfizer because that's what they had that day. This is not a personal choice, and we are just kidding. We are just doing a little healthy competition to get everybody vaccinated. Just get it's vaccinated. the same ones today. It doesn't My matter. My today. Th- oh, I know. Today is a right. Yep. Just saying. Shots. I salute you, Team Pfizer. Shots. What? 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 <laughs> oh, George, with this is better, Sean, because these are helpful suggestions that involve more work, involve more work oh. for you. Oh no, oh, George, boy. on the COVID vaccine rap wars. Uh, Stephanie and family love the show. The people getting overwrought over your rap wars are just ridiculous. It's a funny bit. I'm wondering if you could add clips. Sean's like, yay. For those refusing to get vaccines uh, at all, apologies to Sean for any extra work. Um, this show and Matto has kept me sane for the last four years and undeniably insane time, George, in Florida. As one little girl said, Mommy, why do we get all our news from lesbians? It's all you need. Me in the morning, Rachel at night, and you're done. It's all you need. Because we're not distracted yeah. by penis. We're paying attention to what you need to know. Okay, Sean doesn't what? want to do any more work. You're distracted what? by other things, though. What did penis just... have to do with any of this? Yeah, straight you're distracted girl, by other things. Straight girls are like, oh, I think I've also almost solved this quantum physics. Oh, penis? What? Penis? Oh. I... Oh, I have to need to chase that around like a butterfly. I don't what? think straight girls are like that. Well, you try dating as many of them as I have. Okay, listen. Well, I'm what? feeling a little personally attacked. I don't know what I don't. What am I talking about? All right, Sean's yeah, not doing extra that, work, Stephanie? but Rocky Mountain Mike yeah. already did it. Yes, this is for the non-vaccinated. What is this, my, these latest? Nearly half of all Republicans say they will never get a COVID vaccine. Uh, Thank you. This is for you, you morons. Let's go spread now. Everybody's learning how. Come on, get infected with me. Come on, get infected with. Me. Early in the morning, we'll be heading out. The virus will be coming along. We're loading up our woody, not a mask in sight. We won't be staying healthy too long. 
Come on, Corona, baby. Wait and see. I'm gonna ignore the CDC. Come on with me, baby. Let's head to the sea. We'll start a second wave. Wait and see. Let's go spread now. Everybody's learning how. Come on, get infected with me. Come on, get infected with me. Thank you, Rocky Mountain Mike. Fantastic. <laughs> huh? Fantastic. Yeah, what is a uh, good God? This is going to make Dr. Redliner's head explode. A new poll says 43% of individuals has, who identify as Republicans will never <laughs> get the vaccine, while only uh, uh, 5% of those who call themselves Democrats stay the same. Okay, you people, you 5% talking to you too, you are also. Hang on a second, where is it? Okay, I can't find it, and I'm probably going to swear. Oh, no. Uh, okay. It could happen. I don't, I don't even want to know. The number, uh, the number of people who have been skittish about the vaccine has dropped. That's good news as more Americans line up for the shot. But the hardcore mm-hmm. group who want to avoid it at all costs has barely mm-hmm. budged because you get to me what to do. CNN talked to a whole bunch of evangelicals who refused to get the vaccine, and and. More than one of them said, yeah, it's because uh, Bill Gates wants to put a, a microchip, microchip in, in my something. You're going to be a human cell phone tower, blah, blah. Whatever. Blah. I'm a moron. Uh, I just injured they, myself trying they, to eat pudding with a rubber spoon. Ugh. Yeah, they actually believe that. Listen, if I start with a giant liquid lake of poo in the morning, I'm going to be a bitch all day. I'm just warning everybody right now. Do not write me about how you right. are not amused by our vaccine rap wars. Now Evan people is, are going to write you even more. Evan is with me. Uh, Steph, remember, you're only allowed to tell jokes that don't offend anyone. And if you live by that, you will be presenting three hours of silence, and then you will offend monks who have taken a vow of silence. That's correct. Thank you. Then you will be that nice Rita Redner. <laughs> oh, Just start wearing a dress instead of... However, look, there's a, and there's a team shirt for everybody at stephaniemiller.com. Yes. We have Pfizer, we have J&J, we have Moderna, we have everything. Mm-hmm. I just happen to like my funky cold Moderna one. It's cool, right? Look at this one. Okay. Funky cold Moderna. What? 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 Okay. A thought just occurred to me. Yes. What if you're listening outside the country and you've received the AstraZeneca one? We don't um, have a shirt for that. Stop making more work for Sean and Travis, you bastard. <laughs> Okay. Linda says, they, Mama. They, they don't do the shorts. <laughs> okay, we don't have that here yet. It's not just. just okay. well, it's, it's not approved well, here. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> Linda says, Hey, Mama, lo- uh, love your hardcore vaccine rap wars. It allows uh, me to make me, it makes me laugh. And right now I can use the laughs because life is way too real right now. Right, Linda? Love the immaturity mm-hmm. and goofy laughs. And the show is perfect the way it is. I love the show. Never change. Thank you, Linda. Not Travis' mom's racist friend. Okay. <laughs> not that, Linda. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Good. Linda. We have two Travis's uh, mom's racist friend, Linda, and then there was my mom, well, who has left us now, but my not my mom, my right. mom's uh, homophobic friend, Betsy. Remember her? She was the one that collected all the cows, and she remember she It hurt my heart, and John Travolta played a woman. I didn't know how to react to that. Mm-hmm. All right, hurt Betsy's heart. You know what else hurt Betsy's? No, okay, never mind. Betsy's not with us anymore. Okay, sorry. That was terrible. That was, that was dark. dark. Wow. She was very oh homophobic, God. and I don't think she knew I was the A-gay because I'm because I'm very lipstick Wow. So she thought she was wow. safe. Wow. The only one of your mom's friends I know is Hoppy Delaplant. Yes, who is, uh, if you, if uh, history, uh, if you recall your history, is uh, a man. Hoppy yes, Delaplant Hoppy. was a man who was oh. married to Grace Delaplant. They do not at all sound like they came from the Buffalo Country Club. What did Hoppy uh, do for a living? What did Hoppy do for I a living? Yeah, do we who know? Who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess family rabbit money. I don't know. <laughs> Something the rabbit business. <laughs> Just, there is. There was a time there, wasn't it, when all rich people were named after rabbits, right? Like Hoppy. You know, they Thumpa. Just, <laughs> Flopsy, Cottontail. <laughs> it's time for the. the rabbits, it's time George. for the Easter egg roll at the Country Club. Let's go. <laughs> I'm guessing those are the exact people that were cutting the vaccine line. Okay. Yes. Like, like, in yes. Our white, like in our white privilege commercial. How well did I play a Beverly Hills woman trying to snatch Frangela's vaccine appointments? What, How well did I do that? Your, do I have some training what name, observing? What name did you What name did you provide? I forgot. Laquanda Washington. That's it. And I am essential. <laughs> Didn't you see Terms of Endearment? Give me the shot. Give me the shot. 
Okay. That was years of sense memory research. Okay. Yeah. We have Dana Goldberg. We have Carl Frisch. We have Dr. Red Leonard. We've got a show, kids. 